All right, and welcome back, guys. And yes, we are back where zombies first began, loaded in the World at War version of Nocturne Toten. And we are here for a very specific reason. We all know the single most important feature of COD Zombies has been ever since the very beginning is uh, the ability to pause. So in this video, we are actually gonna go through every single zombies map in COD Zombies history, even the non-Treyarch ones. And we're gonna load into every single map and uh, we are gonna utilize the pause feature right there. Even, yeah, look, you can even pause in World of War even after you have managed to lose the game on round two because you are professional. Pew, 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 pew. And now here we are on Brockt once again in World of War and, oh, hey, works just fine. There we go. And kaboom. And Shino Numa on World of War. Good to go. <laughs> And uh, Doris here on World at War. Once again, pause feature. Also good to go. Like and yeah, here we are on Black Ops 1, Kino Dertone. And oh, would you look at that? Yeah, and here we are on 5. And uh, look at that. Pauses. Yeah, and here we are in the OG version of Dead Ops Arcade and Black Ops 1. And yeah, it works. No. Yeah, and uh, here on. Well, we're dead, but you can still, <laughs> you can still pause on Ascension as you can see here. Once again, uh, in Black Ops One, you can also pause after the game is ended. Yeah, yeah, and uh, here we are on Call of the Dead. Yep, and here we are on Shangri La. Ah, oh, yep, and here we are on Moon, and, um... Yep, Nocturne Toten, version 2.0. Yeah, Varuk 2.0. Shinonuma 2.0. Doris 2.0. <laughs> And here we are on Black Ops 2, and we are on Transit. Boom. Ah, and Bus Depot. Once again, pause feature. Ah. Yep, kind of what I expected here. But, oh, oh, hey, you can't pause once you're dead on Black Ops 2. That's, that's interesting to note. But okay, to actually test it out here on Farm, Yep, what do you know? The pause feature actually works on this as well. Come on, 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 come on. Ooh! Black Ops 2 Town. Yeah, different shirt. This was recorded the day after because somehow the recording for this one got corrupted. But uh And here we are on Nuketown Zombies. Oh, yep, works. Yay! We're here on the best map ever. Die Rise. And once again, you can pause. Mob of the Dead. Yay, buried, and yep, you know, let's go ahead, pick up the OG E-Tool here on Origins, and what do you know? And Rip, you know what sucks? When we started recording this, we were actually max ranking zombies. We had that extremely cool skull with the two shotguns on here, but recording all of these stupid clips going into games, dolphin diving and dying, we actually got uh, deranked here on Black Ops 2. I know like a year ago, I spent forever grinding all that out. So um, was it worth it? Uh, definitely not. But uh, yeah, I guess, I guess give me a pity like or something. God dang it. <laughs> Okay, I know what you're thinking. Yes, this isn't zombies. This is extinction. They spawn on aliens, but hey, some of the aliens that spawn on here eventually start spawning on some future zombie maps as well. And the cool thing about this mode is, you know, this mode actually has Easter eggs. They launched with the very first map here. If I, I don't remember how we do this. It's, it's been a minute. Give me, give me, give me a second. Let me, ah, there we go. Law. So we got the text to pop up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to place this down. Aha! And every time we kill one of them, they explode into aliens. So yeah, might not be an official zombies mode, but it actually launched with some sort of Easter eggs in it, which is not something that happens with every single zombies game that we get nowadays, unfortunately. But uh, the main reason we're here, because if you look, actually doesn't have a pause feature. This is after all updates, Extinction in Ghost. Never got a pause feature. Doesn't matter what map you play. And I'm not going to show off all the extinction maps. Like I said, this is a zombies video. I just kind of want to point it out. That yeah, launch with Easter eggs. But just like uh, Vanguard. No pausey. And this is the first game we've ran into so far. 
that you can't pause. I love this Easter egg though. You know how cool, small, little fun Easter eggs like this are? Really fun. And now for the first zombie mode that was actually not made by Treyarch. This was made by Sledgehammer. This is Advanced Warfare on the OG version of Outbreak. This map's name is actually Outbreak and Oh, would you? Oh, hey, this one, uh, this one lets you pause. Oh, AW map number two. What is this? Uh, uh, infection. You can still pause. Well, I paused there. We, you saw it. It happened. The last two times I've tried to load into this map, it is crashed. So I don't know if this map just corrupted on my PC or what the deal is. But let's see if we can actually play this map this time. Oh, it's loading. It's almost there. Oh. Yeah, so uh, I can't load into Carrier, but uh, trust me, the pause feature works on this map, but uh, this is, I'm not trying it a fourth time. Ah, hey, look at that. Descent actually works, so I don't know why. Carrier legit just won't load on my PC, but uh, surprise, surprise. Actually pauses. Bop, 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 bop. All right, Black Ops 3, Shadows of Evil, OG launch map on this game. Moment of truth, boys is black ops 3 a game that came out in 2015 going to let us pause in zombies go ahead jump oh and uh yeah look look, look look at that magic right there yeah now we're back on the giant for the third time this is the third time we've been on this map and look at that all three versions of the giant allow you to pause the freaking game no take the grenade no no oh well wow, rip all right drys and drac Yep, here we are on, uh, I think it's called Plants vs. Zombies or something like that. I don't know the map name. Uh, but look at that. Yay. Yeah, so Grod Crovy. Once again, yup. Ah, yes. So useful. Look at us go. Bruh. Revelations. And, yep. Once again, still works. Yeah, I forgot there's a ton of Chronicle maps, so this is actually taking for freaking ever. Moon V2! E-Tool! There we go. And this is our final Chronicles map here. And boom. I guess while we're on Black Ops 3, we might as well load into a custom game as well. Here we are on Leviathan, and yep, still works in custom games. All right, zombies in Spaceland. Moment of truth doesn't work in this game. Oh, would well, you look at that? You can pause. And so far, every single zombies experience we have played so far. All right, let's just take a moment, sit by the fire, warm up a little bit, and enjoy our nice little pause feature here. Ah, here it is. Go ahead, pick up our katana. And yeah, Shaloon Shuffle. Ooh, attack of the radioactive thing. Oh, hey, would you look at that? More aliens again in zombies. Here we are on... um. Infinite Warfare, what, what is this called? Crap, what, um, um, uh, uh, Beast from Beyond, that's what she is. Oh, hey look, another E-Tool, E-Tool V3. But yeah, here we are on Sledgehammer's last zombie game, World War II, the very first map, the final Reich, moment of truth, and the pause feature works on this game. So, so far the first two Sledgehammer installments of zombies, Hazen is A-OK. -okay. I have no idea what this right here is, but this is the second map that launched with this game. You get it for like beating the tutorial or something. Really small map. It's like Gutenhaus, Dutenhaus, something like that. But pause work. Da -da 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 All right, Darkest Shore. Press F to pick up shovel. Say less. All right, the Shadow Throne, I think, I don't know, uh, works. And here we go, the Tortured Path, part one. Tortured Path, part two. All right, Tortured Path Part 3. Ah, oh, and finally, this is the end of World War II, the Frozen Dawn. Pause works. Let's move on to the next game. Let's go. Oh, no, an iceberg. It's crashing into the ship. Only if we could... Oh, hey, look, we can just pause and stop it. Now the iceberg is no longer a threat. Meow. Meow. All right, so here we are on 9. Blood. Of. The. Dead. Actually, wait, can you interact with the phone in this version? No, it doesn't look like it. Either that or it doesn't. Okay, yeah, well, classified. No, 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 no. Whoosh. So, dead of the night. Shh, 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 shh. 
Oh, uh, ancient evil. Oh, wow. Nuketown zombies again. Who would have guessed it? Here we are in ancient evil. Yep. Yay. Snowballs. Look at this. Call the dead. Part two. And you can pause. Aha. Uh -huh. It's been a minute, but here we are back on Cold War zombies on D Machina. And, uh, we good to go. Oh, oh, rampage inducer. How much I have freaking missed you. And, uh, yeah, Firebase good to go. Boom. Yep. Now, here we go. And, uh, Cold War Outbreak. You know, you know what? I definitely missed the E tool, but here we are on Mauer, um, uh, Dirtoten, and it pauses. Yep. And now for Forsaken. And, yep, just like it was a few weeks ago, the truck trap has still been nerfed. Can we get a rip for the truck strap, boys? But, uh, with that, Forsaken's good to go. And would you look at that? It's Dead Ops Arcade, but in first person. And how many of you guys realize that I completely skipped out on Dead Ops Arcade and Black Ops 3? Be honest. How many of you guys realize that we completely passed over that? I'm just now realizing, yo, Black Ops 3 also had Dead Ops Arcade, and I completely forgot. And at this point, I'm just not going to go back and do it. I want to see how many of you guys actually realize that we completely just skipped over that. Okay, so here's the deal. I completely forgot that Cold War now has Onslaught and all these Onslaught maps. There's 19 of these. I can tell you right now, I'm not loading into all 19 Onslaught maps. So we're going to pick one of them. And you know what? For the third time, let's load into Nuketown. If I can even... is, is new Okay, there we go. There's Nuketown. So there's even more than 19. I forgot with Onslaught Containment, this is all of the 3v3 maps. And you just got to keep randomly pressing it. It goes through like ICBM, KGB, all the... All the 6v6 maps so on top of that there's like 25 onslaught total maps but let's finally load into this thing all right back in nuketown for the third time and yep all three iterations you can pause and now after that blast from the past going over the last 13 years worth of zombie games here we are in vanguard zombies and you know what after recording all that footage i gotta use the restroom so let me go ahead pause because it's worked in the last 13 and i'll be right back yeah, so okay, clearly you can't pause in this game. Was that worth it going through the last 13 years worth of Zombies game, getting all that footage, spending the last two days doing this? No, not even close. But point still stands that somehow uh, Vanguard's been out for almost two and a half weeks now, and you still cannot pause in solo, whereas every single other Zombies game since the beginning of time, since 13 years ago, you've been able to do that. And for me, that makes this game completely unplayable for solo players. As far as I'm concerned, Vanguard Zombie still hasn't launched for solo players. It just doesn't exist yet. Only co-op play experience because a um, little bit of pausing doesn't work. But yeah, so there is there is there's that. We just spent two and a half days going into every Zombies game in existence and pausing a few seconds in. And uh, during the process, we lost our shotgun rank in black ops 2 because i don't know why i decided to do it online instead of offline because i just didn't think about it too hard there so yeah that is that and with that i'm just gonna go ahead and wrap this one up definitely let me know how you guys guys feel about this this new style of video this pointless um bad humor slowly dissating into insanity style video but this is what zombies content looks like in um 2021 slash 2022 because I could sit here and play this game, but what am I going to talk about in this game? What are we going to do? A, a, a covenant review? You guys want me to review Unholy Ground? <laughs> oh, all right. Before I just can continue to sit here and complain, we're going to wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching. And yeah, as always, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Oh, hey there. Thank you for watching the entire video. I've got to take this last moment here to give a huge thanks to everyone who came to Twitch sub, our YouTube member, and extra special thanks to those who have taken above and beyond and became an Unlock Plus Plus member on YouTube. We've got the 2X Trader Purple. We've got the most OP Gobblegum ever, Round Robin. We have the hero, Arrow Pharaoh. And then we've got the absolute legend, Peyton Perkins. Once again, got to get a huge thanks to all of them for becoming Unlock Plus Plus members here on YouTube.